Hi. Now, I'm assuming that you watched the previous video in this series where I introduced you to using this idea that if t equal tan of theta upon 2, then I could get these particular trigonometric ratios, tan theta, sine theta and cosine theta, in terms of t. So if you haven't seen that, do go back and check it out. You'll find there's a link in the description below this video. So what I want to show you here is how we can use these particular formulae to solve a trigonometric equation. There are other ways of solving this particular type of equation, but for now, as I say, I'm just going to be showing you how we can use this method of solving it. So we've got 5 sine theta plus 3 cosine theta equals 2, and we've got to give values of theta greater than or equal to 0 degrees, but less than or equal to 360 degrees. So all we need to do is substitute for sine theta and cosine theta in terms of t into our equation here. And if you do that, you're going to get this result. And what I'm going to do next is multiply out the brackets and put it all over 1 plus t squared. So if you multiply out the brackets, you're going to get 10t plus 3 minus 3t squared, and it'll all be over 1 plus t squared. OK, next I'm going to multiply both sides by 1 plus t squared. So that's going to give me this result. Remember, 2 times the 1 plus t squared is going to give me the 2 plus 2t squared. So I just need to rearrange this, make it equal to 0. So I'm going to get rid of these terms on the left-hand side by adding 3t squared, subtracting 3, and subtracting 10t from both sides. Doing that, I end up with this result. 0 equals 5t squared minus 10t minus 1. Now, normally I'll try and see if this factorizes, but it doesn't. So I'm going to have to turn to the quadratic formula to work out what t is. So if you use the quadratic formula, you should end up with this. And working this out, you end up with these two results. T equaling 2.0954 when we take the positive option here. And when you take the negative option, we end up with minus 0.09544 and so on. OK, so now we've got that. Let's just remove the trig formula there. All I need to do is take each of these values in turn. So let's start with when tan theta upon 2, that's t in other words, equals 2.0954 and so on. So we take the inverse tan of both sides and we end up with theta upon 2 equals the inverse tan of that value. Now to get our results, I need to draw a quadrant diagram. That's the way I prefer anyway. So we have got a positive value for tan of theta upon 2. And that's going to mean that tangent is positive then in the first quadrant and the third quadrant. So I'm just going to draw a line through here, OK, out the other side. That means that these two angles are exactly the same size. Always mark those in to the horizontal. So the possible values for theta upon 2 are going to be starting from here. There's one possible value for theta upon 2. And the other one will be turning from here all the way around till we get to this other line here. OK, so we've got the two values. So if I take the inverse tan of 2.0954 on my calculator, make sure it's in degrees mode, then I get this result. And this corresponds to this acute angle for theta upon 2, the red one here. To get the green one, knowing that these two blue angles are exactly the same at 64.488 and so on degrees, it's just going to be a case of 180 degrees plus a further 64.488 degrees. And if you do that, you get 244.48 and so on degrees. Now, to get theta, I just need to double these results. And I can immediately see that doubling the green one is going to be 
out of the range of 360 degrees, much more. So all I need to do is just double the 64.488. And if I do that, then we end up with theta equaling 128.97 and so on degrees. Okay, so we need to work now with this value of t. So t being tan theta upon 2, we've therefore got the case when tan theta upon 2 equals minus 0 0.09544 and so on. So again, just take the inverse tan of both sides and we end up with this result. And to work out what theta upon 2 could be for this one, I'm just going to turn to my quadrant diagram again. And we're looking at tan being a negative value. So tangent is negative in the second and fourth quadrants. So I draw a line equally inclined to the horizontal. So that means that that angle is the same as that one. And when I take the inverse tan of that value on the calculator, making sure it's in degrees mode, I get a negative answer. So that is this angle turning in the clockwise sense. Okay, that angle is in magnitude 5.52 and so on degrees. So this is a possible theta upon 2. But it's not in the range that we want here, 0 to 360 degrees. So the other possible one is going to be turning in an anti-clockwise sense round to here this will be a possible theta upon 2. So all I need to do is to get this is just do 180 degrees minus 5.452. And if you do that, you're going to get 174.548 and so on degrees. So I can see that by doubling the green result, I'm going to get an angle that's in this range up here from 0 to 360 degrees. So if I do that, theta equals 349.09 so on degrees. So I've got two angles here that are solutions to this equation in that range. And if I round both of these, say, to one decimal place, then I get these two answers for theta. Theta equals 129.0 degrees and 349.1 degrees, both to one decimal place. So I hope that gives you an idea, a method that you can follow when it comes to using the T formula for solving trig equations. So thanks for watching and hopefully I'll catch you in another video.